railroad. And there's a train coming by. For all of you train slash car wash fans, like Tyler M or uh, other ones. Here it comes, ever so slowly. <laughs> From over there. It's a commuter train. Yes. Me and my aunt used to ride those all the time. Yeah, until fun. until COVID happened. Yeah. He'll be able to do it again eventually. And there it goes. Happy, happy. There we go. Another train. I'm gonna laugh if it's the same one before. Actually, it's coming from the same direction over here. Oh, I see it. It's the same type, it's just, A yeah. different uh, one. Yes. For commuters, they have it going every 15, 20 minutes. Sometimes Wee. every 30 minutes. And there we go. Happy toy. Let us go. Mm. All right, everyone, we are here at a Chevron gas station with uh, M McDonald's. So if you're so if you're hungry and your car is dirty, uh, <laughs> <laughs> double whammy. Yeah. Uh, anyway, last time I came here, this was a Bellinger Saber, but we didn't go through it. I just walked through it. Um, I think it's still a Saber. It's interesting. It's not like your normal shape. Yeah. Oh, yep. It's still a Saber. Oh, those arms look really bent. They do. I think someone might have like sl uh, slammed through them. Uh oh. There's a bus. Okay, well let's walk through it. Uh, you have your wash select. This machine does not accept credit or debit cards. Express, basic, deluxe, and works. undercarriage. You see, this is what I mean by really bent um, arms, and this is really echoey in here. Um, so, this happened. And it's completely missing up the top. Um, here's your signage. Uh, tri foam nozzles. For some reason, this one has onboard dryer nozzles, but I bet it doesn't use them. Uh, this, I don't know, and I'm not gonna mess with it. Here's your superior dryers that are very angled. Um, that's probably not safe, especially in a car wash environment. But there's a really good look at the impeller. Looks like the top one oscillates. This looks a lot like a Pico arch. Hold on, what does that say up there? Oh, it says, do not back up after exiting. And yeah, it is a Pico arch. It's just covered up with the do not back up sign. Here's the other one. Uh, yeah, let's go through it now. Here we are waiting to fill up gas because our car needs gas, and uh, we only do code, and uh, whatever, that we only do codes, so tippity-tappy with my feet while I wait. Car wash code acquired. Here is the wash options. We got that one. So now let's go through it. This actually used to be a PDQ Laser 4000 because this has a PDQ timer, but let's go through it. I'm about to head in. Oh, I, I think I see a green light on the arm.
says stop. Sizing the car. Free soak. <laughs> wow. Nice pre soak. Pressure on that. Trifoam is excellent. Uh, what, what is this? Well, more high pressure. That's what it is. Through both arms. What now? That now would be clear coat. Drive motor is not healthy. Surface protectant. Seem to be in the best condition. I just got surface protectanted. The spot free rinse. Nice and slow pass.
her has me really confused. Because first off, I thought that it wasn't going to do the onboard dryer cycle, but turns out it did. So that's that. Oh, wow. I could literally feel the sonar clicking into my neck. Anyway, it did the onboard dryer pass. Then it turned on superior. This has got me very confused. So let's give a review. All right, so what did you think? I thought it was good. I really like the Bellinger Saber. I think it's gentle on the car, interesting to watch, and does a good job. Yeah, although that one was really confusing. Yeah, a little bit backwards on a few things. Yes, because also after you had g started to go through this um, offboard superior yeah. dryers, it left the onboard dryers on for a good time, or for a good amount of time. Oh, I remember. Yeah, that was weird. And when it, and when it started, I, I looked up at the superior and I'm like, why do, why does it sound like uh, Bellinger dryers? But then I realized that it's on, then it was using onboard Bellinger dryers. So there's a good reason why it sounded like Bellinger dryers. <laughs> yes. Well, Definitely. that's one confusing saber. <laughs> um, I say eight out of ten because. That thing was rubbing its own arm against the wall. Oh dear. Okay, definitely 8 out of 10 then. Yeah, and also, um, assaulted its own backup cord <laughs> a few times. Oh dear. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, that's the Bellinger Saber. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. That'll be it.